be like really cold or something. Man, that... <laughs> that is pretty awesome. <laughs> um, okay, so so we're going into the next series. It's gonna be a PVT Tyson versus Mong. Now, um, now you could sort of already tell from the interview he just gave, but Mong seems to like. I don't know. I, um, there, there's, there's, okay, so, so, uh, while, while the game is starting, I recommend everyone quickly go on Team Liquid and just check out the Round of 32 Group A interviews, which has an interview with Mong, and it also has the one with Zero that I mentioned, where Zero is like, oh yeah, my opponents were easy, and, you know, if I get easy opponents again in Round of 16, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, it, it won't be a problem. Of course, we saw how that turned out, but uh, but Mong on the other hand, because in that group there was uh, Killer also along with Zero and Mong, they were in the same group in the round of 32, and uh, Zero beat Killer in the winners match, and then Mong actually after losing to Killer in the first match came back and beat him in the final match, uh, which was actually still a best of three then. Um, so so Mong actually went three and three against Killer, the you know two-time SSL seven and SSL eight winner. Uh, and uh, and then knocked him out of the tournament in the first round, and and after that, despite doing basically like an amazing feat, he wasn't like zero and like oh yeah I, I owned Killer I'm so amazing he he basically apologized to the fans for knocking out Killer, you know because he was like you know I I know a lot of people wanted to see Killer go far you know he's got a ton of fans and I just knocked him out of the tournament uh, and and I think he's also good friends with Killer as well so he's saying you know. I I'm sorry about that, and I'll try to just play really well now, and uh, and show amazing games in his stead. So I thought that was very very endearing. That was that was really awesome uh, to see from Mong. So that so I'm I'm definitely rooting for Mong here in this group, and not so much Zero, even though I I, I used to like him a lot. I still like Zero, but um, just based on these interviews. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and and, and support Mong. Um, unfortunately for Mong, I do think he was right uh, in the inter in the interview where uh, he said Hai is probably gonna get out, and I would probably pick Tyson to get out over him as well. I know I I jokingly said Tyson was well. I often half jokingly say Tyson is bad on stream, but uh, in reality he's still a pretty scary Protoss player, and it is PVT. Um, uh, and he's apparently much better offline than online, which I didn't realize before, so he's also got that going for him. But, I mean, we did see that in the round of 32, where he uh, very unexpectedly 2-0'd his group, um, including beating Mind in a PVT, and Mind, of course, very, very strong Terran player, although that series was slightly dubious. Mind uh, did make some weird, um, possibly bad decisions. Uh, and mine similarly in the round of 16 uh, played some some kind of dodgy games so I'm not 100% not sure about what happened there but uh, but Tyson certainly has what it takes to, to at least take out Mong here um, as far as uh, as far as the rest of the group is concerned, though, um, I think uh, I think Zero would be quite happy if Mong won this game. And uh oh, we're gonna have some Reaver action here. That first Zealot is a uh, is one indicator, and then obviously the Rover right on the edge here seals the deal here. That Zealot should indicate to Mong that something's going on here, because um, I mean, it's it's a two player map. You can just make a Zealot first to go and do some harassment, but again, it's it's a lot more likely when you see that first Zealot that something's going down in the Protoss space. But, uh, but yeah, I think I think Zero, if he wants any chance of making out of this group, needs to to play Tyson in the losers match because of all the other players in the group, I think Zero has the best chance of beating Tyson. So at least he can beat Tyson in the losers match and go into the final match where he would play um, one of the Terran players if that were to happen. Which again would not be easy, but you know I I think it's much better for him to play one Terran player instead of two. Um, in this group. Anyway, uh, that Zealot should be able to block this ramp, yeah. So, no scouting possible for Mong. And this is quite a nice position actually with this Robo right on the right side of the main base. Um, so it's, it's I mean, it's, it's inside your main base, it's, it's fairly nice and protected, and, 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 but the air to air distance, if you look at that, is extremely short uh, between these mains. 
Um, and, and not only that, but the, the back of the mineral line, as you can see, the minerals kind of block off ground units from going down there. They, they, it starts off blocking completely, but you can mine out that uh, low value patch on the left side to get, get rid of it quite easily. And it looks like Ma actually tried to trick a marine through the back, just in case there's a proxy going on behind the natural minerals, but looks like he uh, saw the goon coming in and just kind of gave up and, and, and stopped doing that. Um, one interesting thing to note about this robo though is that even though it's technically in the main base, because it's right on the edge of the cliff like that, if Mong does actually manage to push over close to uh, Tyson's natural, he can actually just siege that down from the low ground, which would be quite annoying uh, for, for Tyson. Um, but if, if Tyson has uh, even a semi-effective reaver here, it shouldn't be a huge problem. And the first Vulture falls. I think it did get close enough to see that there's no Nexus though, which is going to be pretty huge. And is he going to just sneak a Nexus somewhere? Oh my god, I think he... Is he just going to expand first to the to the bottom base at the below the main? That's a really interesting idea, actually. I There, there is no way that Mong would really expect that, I don't think, unless he's practiced this map a ton and someone's done that before. Um, and, uh, and so if he, you know, he, he might get freaked out by the lack of a natural, he might, even if he goes for a fast push, you know, there's nothing at the natural yet, it might even be a double expand from Tyson just to take the natural. He is actually taking the natural and going to take that base, so actually it's just going to be a double expand, he's going to get both. Hey, Reaver coming in here, it's not going to do that much. Nice little marine sprint there from Ma, and that shuttle uh, and Reaver will get warded away. So nice little, uh, nice little block. Hold on, I just, I just like glanced at the chat, and, and to Toss Girl's getting married? What? Are you kidding me? What? I guess to be fair, she, she must be in her mid to late 20s by now, no? Mid 20s? Yeah, it seems reasonable. <laughs> uh, okay, so what's going on? Okay, so the Reaver's going back. I actually don't. He, he went back to his main. I don't know if he picked up another Reaver or not. I wasn't paying attention. But the shuttle is halfway damaged. He's gotta be a little bit careful. Is there actually a turret under there? Or is that just like spotting? There's actually not a turret under there. Oh, he does have two Reavers. He dropped the. What? What? You're taking a lot of shots, bro. Oh, nice big explosion there. Ex ex explosion? Explosion? Okay, that's the word. Um, took like two sea shank shots on that reaver though. I mean, I guess he didn't have any other unit to tank. It's not ideal, but eh, it was marginally effective. Okay, it was better than that. He got a tank and a turret. It's pretty good. And he's gonna keep flying around here, trying to be annoying. Um, and the thing is, even if the Reavers don't actually do that much more damage, he's still keeping the Terran back in his base. I'm a little bit surprised he hasn't made that third Nexus yet, even though he's got the probe there uh, below his main. He's probably gonna make that quite quickly. It is a fairly uh, common thing to do in PvT to go Reaver opening into very quick. Uh, third base, um, Stork did that a ton until he got pwned by Fantasy in the OSL Finals for doing that. <laughs> Wintex, that's a, that's that that would have been amazing. Yes, I should have I should have gone to the uh, to the marriage ceremony and shadow objection. But see, see, the problem with that plan is that I don't know how to say objection in Korean. So I could have just gone there and, and, you know, shouted objection in the hall and nobody would know what that, that means and they would just ignore me and kick me out. I mean, I guess they would kick, ignore me and kick me out even if I said it in Korean, but I don't know, it would just, it would just have less impact. Anyway. Looks like there's a good old pawn on wall in into Nexus. Again, I'm a little bit surprised. I mean, just judging from the minimap, it looks like he has four gateways in his base before he's taken his base, which is a much safer thing to do to get four to get minimum four gates up before you get a third. But if you're gonna go for for a really fast reaver harass like this, I feel like you can probably get away with just two gates and then three nexuses. It's it's usually fine if your reaper micro is good. 
Anyway, vultures are gonna see what's going on over here. I wonder if they can actually trick themselves over using uh, spider mines. It looks like there's a nice little nook there on the left, on the very inside left corner here. Like, if a if a vulture completely lost my mouse, well, too late now. But I think if a vulture just like wedged itself against the pylons there, it might be able to just trick itself through. <clears throat> Anyway, looks like some Goliaths taking care of the uh, the uh, observer. That's a lot of Goliaths there. Did he make four Goliaths? That's a little bit excessive. Do you really need four Goliaths at this point in the game? I do not think so. I think two would be absolutely plenty to deal with that shuttle. That is a bit overkill, and Goliaths are not overly cost efficient against a normal PVT ground army. I'd much rather save the money for the tanks and the vultures, so it's not ideal, but it's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Anyway, looks like a dropship heading over uh, along the bottom side of the map, and this could be quite annoying because, um, oh god, this is gonna be bad. Oh god, oh god, Reavers, run, run! Just shoot him, shoot him, just attack! What are you doing? Attack! Oh my god, if that other Reaver got a shot off, he could have blown some of those glides up. But that was quite bad. Not paying attention. And what I was gonna say before that happened was this is gonna be so annoying because that tank is inaccessible by ground. So I have no idea how Tyson's gonna kill that now that he has no shuttle. I mean, this is, this is awful. This is awful. And he's losing probes in the main. Uh... But, but I think, oh no, he does have another shuttle now, okay, he made another shuttle, okay, thank goodness for that. So, it looks like the Nexus is going to be saved. He actually got speed as well, which I didn't notice before. But uh, it's just too bad that shuttle wasn't in time to save those Reavers, so... Manages to, uh, to take care of that, even though he did lose a good number of the probes there. Actually, I think he just moved them out onto the map a little bit, so he's moving them back now. Um, and a second drop is going out. I'm a little bit surprised Tyson didn't leave like one or two dragoons behind those minerals because it seems fairly obvious that the Terran might try that kind of thing again. And oh my god, we have two speed shuttles here. Oh man, is he just, is he just gonna go like mass speed shuttle here and just like do and just carpet bomb? the uh, the Terran when he moves out. Oh, that is so fun to watch. I actually saw a game, uh, I think it was yesterday, in the Sonic Pro League tournament where some amateur Protoss, like, Sarang something? Sarang Dop? Sarang Pop? I don't know. Um, did, like, a triple speed shuttle Reaver drop into the Terran's main against Piano, and it was hilarious, but not very effective. <laughs> but it was, it was hilarious. That's, that's the important thing. Oh no, and Vulture's going in the front as well. Nice little multitasking here for Mong. Oh my goodness. And these zealots have to be careful. You can hear the Korean commentators screaming about these spider mines. Speed zealots defending against Vultures and Mineral Lines is oftentimes a terrible idea. And it looks like the probes even run away a little bit late. Oh man. Mong is playing really well. You know, despite all that chatter in the beginning of the game, how like, oh yeah, Tyson's so good offline, I'm not good on offline. Uh, Mong is doing a pretty good job here. Um, and, and by the way, for those viewers who are not, you know, uh, participating in the stream chat, uh, Mong actually mentioned that, you know, because like him and, and Larva, for example, were B-teamers on their pro gaming teams, they didn't actually get a chance to play uh, televised games. Oh my god, that's Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get a chance to play, uh, you know, televised games in booths and stuff, so they don't have much experience in these kind of tournament booths compared to, you know, like Tyson, who was um, uh, an A-teamer on his team that I actually can't remember what team he's on now. But, but, uh, but yeah, so he actually, apparently they actually come to these booths in Sonic Studio and practice there before the matches. So so apparently, like yesterday, he just came to the booth and was just playing some games uh, to, to get some experience in these, uh, in these kind of offline set settings. Uh, meanwhile, looks like we got two Stargate Arbiter coming along. Tyson did actually be mined, I believe, by going carriers uh, in a couple of the games. 
Although I might be confusing him with movie. I'm pretty sure Tyson did as well though. There seem to be a lot of carriers in PBT lately. Um, which is kind of interesting. Someone actually uh, mentioned that it might be because uh, Kim Carry is casting. So, you know, the players want to make him happy. <sighs> anyway. We have the Dubla Speed Shuttle still while these goons clear out some mines. Tyson seems to have a really nice forward map presence here. Um, because of all the harassment, Tyson hasn't really had time, uh, the time or the opportunity to use his goons to go out and do a lot of mine clearing and ultra clearing. So, uh, anyway, it looks like we're going to have a big engagement on this bridge. I don't think the line of sight blocker actually affects anything here because there's so many units. Maybe it does actually. I'm not really sure. I wish I could see the player's vision and what they can actually see right here. But uh, it looks like with the Protoss attacking into this narrow position, regardless of whether they have sight or not, it's just not going to happen. So, loses the shuttles and, and uh, most of his zealots here and having to pull back. And this is a little bit problematic now for Tyson. He's got the double Stargates pumping Arbiters, but they're going to take a while to come out anyway. So, he's still just got to make it happen uh, with this pure Zealot Goon army. The speed shuttles were, were kind of his replacement for any kind of tech unit. Instead of going for a faster uh, Arbiter or for High Templar, he just was trying to rely on those speed shuttles. But it looks like with another wave of Zealots coming in, a big Mind Drag could be crucial here. Gets a semi-decent Mind Drag, and it looks like... The Terran army tried to push a little bit too far across the bridges and Tyson is going to clean it up here. Wow, I thought he would be in a lot more trouble, but it looks like he just had enough gateways, was able to spam out enough additional zealots um, that he is mostly taking care of this. A few more reinforcements coming out here for Mong, but he really should be pulling back and, uh, and regrouping a little bit. Note that while all this was happening, though, he has got the top right uh, base as well above his own main. So he's actually going up to four bases, although his bottom right one is mineral only. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like there are the Arbiters just chilling at the bottom. Tyson apparently didn't rally the Stargates, or is just going to leave them there for the time being until they get enough energy to actually do something, uh, rather than just running them around and, and letting them die early on, or getting them EMP'd. But no, it looks like they, they're coming out now. And Mon actually doesn't look like he has that many factories in the main base. He only had like five completed there? On four base? That is a very low factory count. I don't know if maybe there were just a few up in a different location in the main, but uh-oh, looks like we have a drop here into this top right base. I wonder if that drop was actually meant to go into the main base, and Tyson didn't realize there was an expansion here, so he kind of just emergency dropped two zealots. I wonder what else... I, I hope there wasn't actually another reaver in there or something like that. Um, you know, doing like a, a late game reaver drop. Anyway, it looks like this the SCV is going to try and take care of this, but now that Tyson knows about this base, he's going to send his army over here to kill it. Uh, instead of and just, he's just going to actually let this base die. Doesn't really want to go down here and engage it, I guess, because his army's not strong enough. So just going for the counterattack instead. Trading a base for a base, generally that's okay for PVT. That's, that's good for PVT. Um, but the problem here, I think, is that, you know, they're, they're, they're still essentially on even bases then, which is not really good for PvP at all. Even though, of course, Tyson did mine his, uh, his third base a lot longer. Um, he's, oh man, getting harassed now at so many angles. Vultures in the natural, a drop at the top left. Great, great, great multi by Mon. This is some really awesome active... Uh, TVP here, and there's and there's tanks here at the bottom left as well. So you know, Mong is attacking at three different locations right now. This is really really good stuff. You know, instead of playing that TVP style where you just you know camp on three bases and mass up a giant push and then just go for it in one big swoop, um, Mong is playing a super active TVP. I think partially dictated by the map. Maybe it's a little bit. I think it's a little bit harder to do that kind of uh, more turtley style on this map. But but even then, even you know, considering that, this is still a very aggressive way to play TVP and very very cool stuff. Um, but the thing is, I think he is gonna have to do a big attack eventually, though. You can't. I don't think you can win just by doing these little multi pronged harassments and things. He's gonna have to mass up and do a nice big attack. He did try one earlier and, and kind of got stopped by Tyson, and now Tyson also you know is showing. He's not just going to sit around and let himself get harassed. And, oh my god, these SCVs are not even running away. The Zealot drop, just a Zealot drop, is going to completely destroy the mineral line here. 
at Mong's own expansion at the bottom right and the top right base was taken down. So Mong is not mining on very much. I imagine only his natural expansion right now. Yeah, this base is not really mining. This is actually quite problematic for Mon. Even though he's been doing a great job attacking, he hasn't been able to keep his own bases alive. And this is sort of the part of the problem with this kind of TVP style. Uh, is that, you know, if you keep attacking with your units, and that's that's kind of awesome, but if the Protoss just counterattacks you and, and fights a lot of small engagements, oftentimes the Protoss ends up being more cost efficient anyway. And they can oftentimes take uh, more losses on bases than you can because they'll just be expanding more quickly uh, in general. So, this is, uh, this is, this is quite, quite on a knife edge. I'm actually, I'm looking at the bases now, and, you know, even though Mong doesn't actually have that mining, Tyson really doesn't have that much mining either. He's sort of just mining from his natural, and the top left has been harassed constantly, so it's kind of mining right now. I mean, pretty low eco situation. It's very interesting. It's it's very similar almost to the uh, TVZ between Zero and Haya we saw on this map, where even though we got to the late game, it ended up being a very, very low economy situation, which is pretty funny. And uh, and really kind of test the players and how efficient they are. And oh my god, does he know these mines are here? Oh, come on, get him up! Yes! Oh no, I don't know why there were a million mines there. If that was to block a recall or something, I have no idea, but... Oh my goodness, that was horrible. Oh, and now he might recall now that they cleared the mine with Zealots. Zealot bomb to clear, or, you know, he could just attack SCVs with Arbiters. That That's a good plan too, I like that plan. Not really, but, you know. Anyway, it looks like uh, we actually have some High Templars out now, that's pretty cool. Oh, I gotta be careful. EMP? 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 He did get the Arbiter. Well, the High Templars should still have energy, but here's the big attack! Oh, and the other Arbiter gets EMP'd here, even though it came from a funny angle. So, uh, Tyson is now a little bit stuck. He's done some great harassment here himself, but again, this is where what it comes down to in the end. The big attack from the Terran. Can the Protoss hold on here? It's looking very, very dangerous. He's bringing his speed shuttle back. He's got two more Arbiters just sitting at the Stargate. Does he not realize they're there? Does he not want to use them? Oh man, I would just be pulling everything I could get right now. Even if they have no energy, you know, they'll do a bit of cloaking. They'll they'll add like 10 damage per shot. Man, that 10 damage could be the difference. And here we go, we're going in front. Where are the High Templars? They might be in the shuttle actually. No, they're an Archon? Apparently they're an Archon, okay, that's weird. Archon not that useful, but actually it's okay as long as it doesn't get EMP. They don't actually trigger mines, which is cool. Uh, I, I I thought he just put all the high tempo in the shuttle and was gonna go for a nice little uh, storm drop, not on the CVs but like on the tanks essentially. Anyway, it looks like now the Protoss army is moving out as uh, as the Terran army unseizes. The shuttle actually gets picked off there. A uh, bit of a sloppy control there, just letting the speed shuttle go in front like that. I mean, it, it happens when you just you ha if you have your speed shuttle grouped to the army and your A move, obviously because it's so much faster, it will just fly ahead of everything. And it's quite easy to lose, but it looks like, oh man, Tyson's probes here getting obliterated at the top left. I don't think he can save the base, but he's going for a recall into the main base. Oh no! Oh no, the spider mine blows up all the goons as he goes in. This, I think, was Tyson's last chance to win the game. He needed this recall to do massive damage, and now he has no army left with which to stop the Terran advance. Tyson, despite playing a pretty decent game, just getting out multitasked, out harassed here by Ma, and eventually just killed off by the attack. Nice little stasis on the ramp at least. Oh, there are the stasis! See, if he had those earlier on, he could have actually just engaged the main army. And, and, and not only has he, blocked, uh, has he trapped some units here, he's just blocked the ramp, but he's gonna GG anyway. Tyson taps out in game number one, and Mong wins a very awesome and convincing victory there. That, that was some fantastic TVP, I have to say. Man, Tyson uh, looks like he's being a bit sulky there. <laughs> Hey look, it's the ninja guys, look, you can barely see him. It's like fading into the darkness. Mm. Alright, let's go ahead and 5 star this game. Let's 3 star this game. 
Man, which per wait, who is this person that's randomly like low stars games? It's like those those random people who just go around on everyone's blog and one stars them. I don't really know what the point of that is though. But apparently people do that. Alright, anyway, the next map is...